Hello everyone. Welcome to FMT Guru. So today we are going to discuss one very interesting case that is known as traumatic asphyxia. Traumatic asphyxia, it is also known as Perthi syndrome. It is also known as mosk ecchymotica. Okay. So in brief, you can remember traumatic asphyxia with the help of a mnemonic known as DP clear. The mnemonic is DP clear. So you can see there is a picture, the picture of traumatic asphyxia. So uh, you can see three important features, three important features. What are three important feature? One thing you can see here, there is a deep cyanosis. So D for deep cyanosis. You can see deep cyanosis and you can see uh, there is a, a petechial hemorrhages and also you can see there is a clear line of demarcation. So there is a clear line of demarcation. So there are three important features. The first one is a deep cyanosis. Deep cyanosis because of compression of chest, the blood moves into subclavian veins and other neck veins from the superior vena cava. They are basically valless veins. That leads to deep cyanosis. And the second point is petechial hemorrhages. They are also known as blood blisters. They are commonly seen over the face. They are commonly seen over the chest. And there is a clear line of demarcation that is between the uh, injury and the compressed area. Compression and compressed area. What are the causes all of you? Causes are basically it can be an earthquake. It can be a landslide. It can be road traffic accident. It can be a riot crash human pile death or in case of mechanic so uh, while doing uh, while doing car repair it can be restrained asphyxia because of you know in mentally ill person all these are the causes so uh, if you please remember mnemonic is dp clear deep uh, d for deep cyanosis p for petechial hemorrhages clear line of demarcation this can be asked in upcoming exam so in my experience i have seen one case of you know traumatic asphyxia so uh, accidental traumatic asphyxia due to blunt chest trauma from an agricultural machine injury that is because of reverse movement of the tractor you can see here there is a tractor and the body is suspended a body is almost suspended because of the uh, you know reverse movement sudden reverse movement of the tractor and you can see there is a traumatic asphyxia you can see there is a abrasion you can see there is a, a congestion is there sinusis is there so that's it about traumatic asphyxia thank you